So what we are looking at here now is the Guinea hen root, uh, Amau. It's uh, another herb that has become very popular, especially in cancer claim. And remember, these videos are just knowledge from the past, from ancestors, from Jamaica. They are not medicinal videos. They are not doctor recommendations. So, you know, you, you, you still need to consult with your naturopath or your doctor to um, before you use these things. These are not cure-all videos or anything there. Just to give you a splice of knowledge and how people have been using them over the years. And I'm here with Mother Lee, who is going to tell us a little bit more about this guinea hen root from the guinea hen weed. Yes, okay. Lee. Guinea hen is grown in wild forest areas. The leaves you can use for tea along with the root. Both of them can go together. Now, if you're suffering with sinus or even a migraine headache, what you can do, you use some of this root after you get it out of the ground, you wash it, you dry it, put it into a bottle, add some overproof rum to it, and you keep it for as long as you want to, years if you want to. But each time that a sinus bother you or um, head cold or migraine headache, you keep inhaling it and you use a little to just you know, uh, with the mole and the result is excellent. I know of that. And if you're not feeling well in your tummy, you can boil it and you can drink moderately. You can keep it in your refrigerator and each time you take a drink. And everything goes by faith. Everything goes by the healing power of God. So with over all these roots and herbs that he has provided for us, you know that you have to give thanks for them. You have to pray that the healing power of God will come true from God to your body, for your body belongs to him, and he will give you the knowledge and the healing powers. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Marvelly. Hi, so I'm in the kitchen now and I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm doing with the guinea hen root and the weed also, the leaves and stalk. Now this is just the tea and um, what we had was we boiled it and we had a little leftover and we just put it in a bottle and this is the tea, you just warm it and drink it, preferably without any sweeteners, you know, if possible. And I don't, personally, I don't drink the tea because it makes me a bit nauseous. But there are other ways that I'll, I'll take it and I'll show you in a few minutes. But this is the tea. It has a very strong smell. Um, but, you know, my mom drinks it and she loves it. Now, the other thing that I have here with the guinea hen root is, well, this has some leaves in it too. But this is actually soaking in rum. And it has been soaking in rum for over a year and actually it needs more rum but the thing with this this is great for sinus problems or you know there was a time when my husband would have some pain in his hand and I would rub him with this and bandage it and that was really the only time he got some relief that ibuprofen or acetaminophen could not do for him so this is really good you have a headache you put some on a rag and you rest it on your forehead and that's that's how I use this you know for generally for pains and things like that now in this bottle I have some root with some of the leaves and this has been soaking in wine for about I'll say 10 months and it's really hey. fermented you know it's like a wine so instead of opening this bottle all the time and pouring it out because this is about finished I put it in a regular wine bottle and what I do once or twice a week is I just pour a shot glass like this and I drink it 
tastes just like wine. Now, I wouldn't recommend drinking it that fast, but your, um, you can sip on it like wine. Just for the purpose of the video, I gulped it down, but I'm still standing. <laughs> Happy, but standing. Now, this is a new set that I'm doing with the guinea hen root and the wine. And basically, I'm going to show you. I use regular Merlot or Cabernet because I love using the red wine in this to soak it. I find that the rum is too strong for me because honestly, it really knocks me out. It's like it takes on a different dimension of strength when you add the white rum. That's why I use that externally. And this one I will drink. And it's simple. I just pour the wine on top of the roots. And as I say, don't go for the expensive wine. Go for the cheaper wines. You can pick up for $4, $5 in the store. And you just pour it on it. Because what's going to happen is while I'm finishing up this bottle and this bottle, this will be sitting down for a while. And I recommend probably about three months without touching it. So it really gets in. And that's it. All my roots are covered with the wine. And that's how I use it. And as I say on the blog, I'll put some links as to why people drink this, why people take the time to make the tea or the liniment, which is what I call the one with the rum, or the wine, which is what I call this, um, for various reasons. And for me, you know, I have my own testimony, which I'll share in the blog. But thank you for watching my blog and Cheers.